We brought the Economic War Room to CPAC 2022 here in Dallas, Texas at the Anatole. And who do I get to see? One of the speakers, one of the great friends, one of the world's preeminent China experts, Gordon Chang. And I'm dying to ask him questions about Nancy Pelosi's recent trip to Taiwan and the state of affairs between China and the Communist Party and the United States. So welcome back to the Economic War Room, Gordon. Thank you so much, Kevin. So Nancy Pelosi, our Speaker of the House, was just in Taiwan. Uh, what's your take on that? Well, first of all, because it became such a test of wills, she had to go. Because if she didn't go, she would have emboldened and legitimized the worst elements in the Chinese political system by showing everybody else in Beijing that threats work. But this didn't have to be such a test of wills. And I think that President Biden made things a lot worse. If you remember on July 20, he said to reporters, the Pentagon thinks it's not a good idea for her to go. Well, that was basically saying to the Chinese, why don't you try to intimidate us? Yeah. Uh, why did they publicize that? Yeah, why would they publicize that? I mean, he's the president of the United States. He makes the decision. If you listen to the Chinese propaganda before that, yes, it was dire sounding. After that, it became even more grim and it became more frequent, which is a real indication that the Chinese took that as a signal that that was open season on the, on the White House. And so at that point, it became a much bigger crisis than it had to be. Why would the Biden administration do that? Are they incompetent? Are they compromised? I mean, it, it just floors me to try and understand exactly why they do the things they do, because they seem to always work out so poorly. Yeah, this was really bad diplomacy. This was like making mistakes that you learn in International Relations 101. Um, I don't know why. Um, you know, I don't have a good answer for you. Yeah, I, a lot of Americans are wondering because the speaker and the president of the same party, they certainly communicate all the time on legislative matters. And yet here there was a dark, was it a staged contrast? Was it purposeful? I don't think it was staged. Um, you know, one thing, though, I think, and then this is important for us, and eventually we'll learn this, Kevin, but the question is who leaked this to the Financial Times, who first reported that she was planning to go to Taiwan? Most people expect, think that it was somebody in the administration who didn't want her to go. Matter of fact, his speaker's office had no incentive to do that. Um, and I think the Chinese themselves, they didn't want to make it as big a crisis as they, as, as possibility. So really the persons, the people who had the biggest incentive to do this was the Biden team. And so that's where most people think the blame lies. Well, let's look at the bigger picture on that because Taiwan is the real issue. It's not whether an American citizen goes to visit another country. The real issue is Taiwan, how America should respond, what the Chinese are planning. What is your perspective on Taiwan uh, today? Taiwan is just one of the problems. You know, at this moment, we have Chinese troops deep into Indian controlled territory in Ladakh and the Himalayas. The Chinese are trying to take away Second Thomas Shoal from the Philippines and the South China Sea. Last Friday, there were four Chinese warships loitering in Japanese-controlled sovereign waters along the Senkakus in the East China Sea. And of course, for the last couple of months, there have been this intensified air campaign that China's been launching, uh, these dangerous intercepts. So, you know, China's sort of looking for a crisis, um, and it's not just Taiwan. Um, and that's the real danger. We have China taking on everybody at the same time, makes no sense. In it. And so really, when a regime does things that doesn't make sense, we got to really watch out because things are going off the rails.